Fruit salad, very mm. delicious. Puto whatever. Babinka and puto bonbon. Ah, mess it up. <laughs> Kamustaka, Akosi, and Tan, and I am in Maryland right now. I used to live in the Philippines and I moved here about a year ago. So I was living there from December 2020 to September of 2022. So almost two years. And you can find me on TikTok. I'm Antan101 with two N's or on Instagram, Antan10. Hello, everybody. Um, my name is Luna Zander. I am currently in Savannah, Georgia, in America. I lived in the Philippines for five years before I moved to come to college here in Savannah. And yeah, after I came to college here, I started modeling and being an artist. So if you want to learn more about me and you want to see any of the content that I create or any of that kind of stuff, you can follow me on Instagram at Luna, Z-N-D-R, Luna Zinder, like all, all one word. Hi, I'm Tyler. And I'm Isaac. And we are from the YouTube channel Trifate. And we are currently living in the Philippines. Uh, we've been in the Philippines basically about a year now and uh, still here. If you're interested, you can find us on our travel vlog channel Trifate Lifestyle. We've documented that full year and we're posting Christmas vlogs right now in the Philippines. How big is Christmas in the United States? Is it any close to how the Philippines celebrates it? It's absolutely not like Christmas in the Philippines at all. Like Christmas in the Philippines, like I remember Christmas cheer would be present from September. Like I would hear Mariah Carey and like Mega Mall like immediately. Here, it's more gradual. I feel like people here are more cozy and familial. Like family, you know, it's very sweet. Like starting from Thanksgiving, like you start feeling the holiday spirit. Not more like the Christmas spirit, but definitely the holiday one. I've had the privilege of going to like a lot of events that are very Christmassy, like focused on Christmas stuff, because I sing as well. So like I got to see a lot of that Christmas spirit. It's definitely way more colder. And I think that it really helps with the coldness. Christmas in the US is the biggest holiday. I would say by quite a margin, but it is not six months. <laughs> it probably starts after Thanksgiving, which is November 25th, generally. So uh, after that, then Christmas starts and you're allowed to uh, put up Christmas decorations and such without being judged. You basically start thinking about it once the snow starts to fall for where we're from. Christmas in the States, I would say, is the biggest holiday, but it's only celebrated for about like a month, I would say. Some stores start decorating in like October or November, but things like really ramp up at the very end of November after Thanksgiving, then it just like transforms into all Christmas stuff. You'll hear music everywhere, Mariah Carey, like 10 times a day. So I would say about a month long, but that may change on where you are in the States because there's a ton of diversity. What surprised you the most when you first celebrated Christmas or experienced the Christmas season in the Philippines? Um, the biggest surprise was when we first came to the Philippines. It was in about late August and then we went to one of the malls and we saw a uh, countdown until Christmas with over 100 days. That is pretty crazy. And then also on the same topic of malls, the malls in the Philippines also just get absurdly busy. I mean, traffic in Manila, everything in Manila just gets so busy. The like two to three months leading up to Christmas, it's almost unusable. It ramps the closer you get, like up until those last few days, it will just get busier, 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 busier until the end. You can't do anything on weekends. <laughs> I think this is the first time I'm going to be celebrating Christmas without my family and it's going to be away from the Philippines which I consider my like my home. I think Christmas back in the Philippines like it was very cozy and it was very warm and it was very like calm and very serene. I think it'll be the same here. It just won't be as like familial. I'm, I'm back at it with the word familial. Like I'm pretty sure it's a word. Like I'm 95% sure it's a word. Don't fact check me on that, but I'm pretty sure it is. When I first experienced Christmas in the Philippines, I think it was 2018. And that was my first time being there during the burn months. I had gone um, the summer earlier and I was like, oh my goodness, the traffic here is insane. Um, that was one thing. Also, I really loved how the malls were open later and that they were decorated so cutely. Like I love decoration. And I just felt right at home. I was like, yes, yes, give me all the decor, all the lights, all the parole. I was all for it. In the Philippines, Christmas is a big holiday celebrated with the entire extended family. Is this the same case in the United States? I would say typically, yes. I'm not sure how extended the Filipino Christmas goes exactly for everyone, but 
typically for us, I would say it goes, you celebrate with your grandparents, which means you're with your cousins. That's about the extent of the extension. And the U.S. is a big place with a lot of different beliefs, so Minnesota specifically, it's like that. I don't know if that's the same in every state, but Minnesota, yeah. It is. It is. I think, like, I had the privilege of going to my friend's house for Thanksgiving, and it was huge. Like, it was full of family, like, even people that aren't, like, blood relatives like me. Like, sh we had the majority of our, like, singing group. We were all at her house, and we were celebrating Thanksgiving with her. Like, people who don't have a ha family to celebrate with, they it's really nice that people are willing to, like, take you under their family and under their wing and i think americans really do a great job of that but back home like it's different when it's just like your close-knit family so i feel like it's both completely different but regardless like you can still feel like the joy and the happiness of christmas in either places but one thing that surprised me is noche buena because all of the adults would stay up until midnight and way beyond and i had never really experienced that before because i'm a family of sleepers my American family, we sleep so much. If we don't get sleep, you will know it. So <laughs> it was surprising seeing adults awake. And then later, once I moved there, I was like, okay, this makes sense because Filipinos love to spend time together and party late into the nights. They don't even give it a second thought. So it was just like a precursor to what I would experience later on. The Philippines has several Christmas traditions. Can you tell us a Filipino Christmas tradition that you enjoyed the most as an American? The first thing... I'm gonna say is uh, the food, which is specifically fruit salad. Mm. Very delicious. Mm. Christmassy. I had that on Christmas mm. last year. Mm. Mm. Delicious. And then also the other various desserts as well. We tried like the, I forget exactly what it's called, the puto whatever. The purple one. We love the food. We love the everything getting set up and all sparkly and stuff. And it's cool. The mall decorations are really cool. Some of the malls go all out. And it's cool to see it. Great for pictures and stuff. And I like that so many of the businesses and restaurants have like Christmas specific things. That's also cool. And even like the barangays in Manila that will like come together and decorate their whole like neighborhood for a little uh, Christmas decorations. I like never really did any. Like my family was so crazy on German traditions because we're German, but like in a horrible way, like we never actually had the privilege of like doing any Filipino Christmas traditions because we were really far away from home, um, which is one of them being Germany. And we were just going by a lot of our old traditions that we would do when we were home back in Germany. But I really am excited when I go back next year for Christmas that I can maybe integrate a little bit more of like Filipino Christmas traditions into our repertoire of traditions. Noche Buena has to be my favorite Filipino tradition because after this whole season of busyness, you have so many events and parties and everything. You have one day where you just chill, you're making food at a good pace, you're seeing neighbors, you know, your friend's son's dropping some barbecue off, you're having karaoke, you're watching movies, and it's just such a good time to chill with your family after the busy season. And of course, eating babinka and putu bombong. Ah, so good. Mango floats. Yeah, I could I could go on. My mom's spaghetti. Mess it up. <laughs> I really just love the food and the people. I think that is the best thing about Christmas, probably anywhere you go. Christmas in the United States is known by many around the world through your media. But as an American who's experienced Christmas in the Philippines, what do you think makes Christmas in the Philippines special? I would say the biggest thing that makes it so special is how everyone thinks it's so special. It kind of creates this community feeling, I guess you could say, where like everyone is like, wow, this is a big moment. Everyone has been, I mean, with the Christmas countdown, that's a hundred days. Half of the year you're anticipating this day so it's got to be a special day. In the U.S. Christmas, I mean, for some people it's the big countdown, but for a lot of people I'd say it's kind of a, oh, Christmas is next week, and then it comes and it goes, and then people just kind of forget about it until the December rolls around or the snow starts coming again. Here, there's hype. I mean, last year on Facebook, I saw a countdown that was 364 days. <laughs> They're waiting for the next one already. They're hyped for the next Christmas. <laughs> I mean, in the U.S., the biggest thing I would be excited for for the countdown was uh, that I get a week off of school. I'd say, yeah, I'd say it's biggest for the kids because of that Christmas break. For adults, you've still got to work, basically, except for Christmas Day. So. And you'll get half-day Christmas Eve, maybe. Maybe, if you're lucky. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I mean, in, in America, I think it's the case for at least some of the places in the Philippines, too. But things used to be closed. Like, everything used to be closed on Christmas. But like, I feel like every year that passes now, more and more things are still open. Because they know 
people are home. They can make money if they're open. The commercialization of Christmas. So that's interesting. It's just not as big of a deal in the US. But it's very epic in the Philippines. So thank you, Philippines. Very epic. I think it's just the general joy. Like everybody is always so happy and like, I mean, everybody's always happy all the time in the Philippines, like regardless of what happens, like they're pushing through. And I think that in the Philippines, what makes Christmas so special is that like you feel close to everybody when you're there in a weird way. Here, Christmas feels like the movies like the way that you see christmas being represented in the movies is the way that christmas feels like while you're in america but when you're in the philippines like it's so warm so it's like hard to feel like it's christmas when there's no snow and there's like you know no like hot chocolate sitting by the fireplace kind of vibe but the warmth that you feel is not from the fireplace but instead it's from like your heart and everybody is always just so sweet and extra joyful in that time of year and i feel like that's what makes it so like nice and jolly and, and festive it's a very beautiful country to be in when you just want to feel like the whole country is your family <laughs> um but that's everything from me i hope that everybody has a merry christmas and a happy holidays and starts off the new year all giddy jolly and everything. I think why the Philippines has such a special Christmas that everyone around the world is probably envious of is because everyone's just so joyful. We're spending time together. You know, you're singing, you're cooking, and it's less focused on the activities and getting stuff done. And it's more focused on spending quality time together. And I think that art is very, very lost in the Western world. And until you experience it firsthand, there's absolutely nothing like it. There's nothing like Christmas in the Philippines.